and we're just gonna set this stop equal to true and again I'm just showing you a different way of programming this remember this stop is just a boolean that we declared in here and what this stop is going to do is it's uh, so let's go on over here now once once this block of code is done it either set the file and set the data or it just print it out you cancel the VIM and just set stop to true now if st not stop we're going to keep going so if it didn't go into this else statement if it just went here so if it went into this if and this is true it's gonna go into this block of code and it's gonna skip this else statement and it's gonna jump over here and since we declared stop to be false in the beginning it's gonna go inside this if block and what's inside this if block is uh, is the code is the uh, the code that we're gonna is the following lines of code just uh, we're just gonna keep going basically but if the result code is not the approve option it's gonna go into this else statement because this is gonna return false so it's gonna uh, if this is false it's gonna skip what's inside this if block and it's gonna start inside this else block it's gonna print you canceled adding a vim and it's gonna set stop to true now in our if statement it's gonna jump here and in our if statement it's gonna check well if not stop so if not true so if true but not so stop is true but we're negating that so stop negate negated is false so if false then it's just gonna hit, it's just gonna skip this whole if block and it's just gonna it's just gonna stop this this is going to prevent the user from adding what they uh, chose because they didn't choose anything and it's going to go jump into this break statement because by that time we'll be we'll be done with our with our method and then it's going to prompt the user again for uh, it's going to jump right back here and prompt the user again to enter the, the option that he wants But otherwise, if the user did choose a, uh, a file, we're going to do the following lines of code. <clears throat> we're going to set our file input stream to a new file input stream. And this takes in a file, which remember we set here. And then we need to uh, we need to read this file. Dot read the data. Read it into the data. <clears throat> Why is it giving? Okay. And then we need to close the uh, input stream. And we're done. Now it's giving us an error because. You need to surround this with a try and catch. Uh, just copy and paste this inside inside this try so it looks neater. It's still gonna give you that that error because it's still gonna you're still gonna need to add a catch clause to surrounding try. Just gonna add that in there. Now what this line of code is doing is it's taking our file the file that we gave it remember we created a file remember we uh, uh, the user chose a file 
Now this file input stream is now containing this file. It's now streaming this file. It's ready to uh, stream it. It's ready to stream the file. And what this read method is doing is it takes in a uh, byte array and remember this data is just this byte array that we set up and we gave it the maximum length of uh, the file length so that it's going to be able to store as much as the file contains and what this is doing is if you read the documentation it reads up to b dot length bytes of data from the input stream into an array of bytes so what you're doing is uh, what you're doing is you're converting this file this mp3 or this uh, jpeg or this video file whatever file it is and you're converting it into its byte array representation that's all we're doing now once we're done with that we basically have all our information, all the information that we need to create our, to instantiate our Vim object. So Vim equals new Vim. And we're just going to get the name of the file. The name of the file is just, you know, whatever it might be, uh, uh, music.mp3 or um, video xyz dot dot mp4 and that's what we're going to pass in get file name sorry get name and as you can see that uh, this file this this file class has a lot of methods and don't get confused guys a file is just a file is just a class that holds uh, uh, methods for getting for manipulating the the path the directory and the path name it doesn't actually hold the actual file so when you're saving a file you're just basically saving the path or the name of that file that's all you can do in here and yeah so the 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 file class is doesn't hold the actual data for the file it doesn't hold the actual music file or the actual video file it just holds a path or the name of that file and what we're doing is we're just gonna get the name of that file because remember our vim constructor takes in a string and a uh, and the data which is a byte array now that we have our vim we're just gonna add that into our book add vim, add vim. <clears throat>